Hi guys and gals of World of Warcraft, Weasel Jr. here and today I'm going to show you my favorite spot to mine ghost iron. Hi guys and gals of World of Warcraft, grab your mining picks and let's head out to the Valley of the Four Winds. This is my general path that I follow in the Valley of the Four Winds. Thousands of players have been banned for using the add-on called Honor Buddy. So grab your mining picks and your PvP gear cause this zone's gonna be full of fellow farmers. On my realm, Ghost Iron runs out about 3 or 4 times a week on the auction house. Making this my favorite metal to farm to sell for profit and I only sell in bars. The reason I only sell in bars is because of how many players drop their gathering professions to go with dual production. I figured they dropped mining because they wanted engineering to get them to the end game rating. So they have no choice but to pay higher prices for ghost iron because the honor buddy ban has eliminated a majority of the farmers out in the world, raising prices considerably. A few days after the initial ban, they did a second ban catching a smaller group of botters. I figure those must have been the people who heard about Honor Buddy through the ban, or figured since they ran the ban, they could run it again and be safe. So when you finally break out into PvP combat over Ghost Iron, take pride because that's a player you're fighting, not a robot. I just hope you got better gear and mad skills because they're stealing gold out of your pocket. While filming this video I ran into one other player who happened to be Horde farming ghost iron. I let the little 93 live because I realized with him being off realm the cross realm respawn rate was going. Making ghost iron respawn faster than I could mine it up making profits go even bigger. I spent 10 minutes farming ore for this video. In that 10 minutes, I got enough ore to make over 60 bars. Making this a prime time to be farming ghost iron because Horde were in half hill farming lobies while I was out farming ore. Cha-ching! I'm in the money. I'm in the money. So when you're done farming ore and kicking the Horde's ass, be sure to check the auction house for more cheap ore that you can smelt up for even bigger profits. If there's no ore in the auction house, they have to buy your bars. Granted, it does take a considerable amount of time to smelt 1,000 bars of ghost iron ore. So while you're farming and smelting, make sure to put on a movie or listen to music or something to make this more of a distraction than a chore. Those 60 bars of ghost iron that I smelted went up on the auction house and made me about 521 gold. If you like this video then give me a thumbs up or better yet hit subscribe so that way you can join me in my misadventures to gold cap. Here's that squiggly line map again just for you. Don't forget to put on that music, and if you happen along a low level who's stealing your ore, then give them a fighting chance, and beat them upside the head with your mining pick to teach them a lesson. <laughs>